today we're going to talk to a local expert in vacation rental. Her name is Isabella, and she works with a property management company that encompasses every aspect of finding the best uh, property for you, what kind of return on your investment you're going to get. So I've asked her to join us to kind of give us an idea of how to select a good property, how to make the most out of that property, and really how to set yourself up for success. So um, Lisa, if you don't mind just kind of starting with a little introduction about you know your role and how you are going to be kind of, in essence, kind of a right-hand man to the kind of clients that I would be finding to help them be successful with their short-term rental. I'd appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. And and Kirsten, thank you for having me. It's I've worked with you for a long time, so it's always fun. Um, you know, it's I've been in just kind of a little background about myself. I've been in the vacation industry for 15 years. Uh, Central Florida is an awesome hub spot for that. A lot of people always come here, so that's exciting. Um, and I'm, I'm I'm happy to be here. So, so just kind of tell us a little bit about because um, I know you know you've done so many different roles in the vacation. Yeah industry space but now the role that you're currently in is is really for folks that want to have uh you know their own short-term rental vacation property you know yeah. how do we set them up for success and i know that your company really plays a big role in that for um folks that are out of town you know i know we have clients that we've worked on um together that are from utah michigan and Washington, um, you know, so they're all over the place. So I know you've got a lot of out of town folks and you probably have some in town places, in town clients as well that you work with. So just kind of how we can set them up. Yeah. So the first thing that I tell anybody that I speak to is the most important thing when you look at short term rental is make sure you have a realtor that understands the market and understands what they're looking for. So not all realtors are created equal, right? Um, <laughs> True. So, it's true. So in Central Florida, there are so many realtors that people work with when they just take a, a normal residential realtor that they're trying, trying to work with. If that realtor is not specialized in short term rentals, they're not going to know the nuances. Um, there's a lot of areas in Central Florida that you cannot have a short term rental. There are areas in Central Florida that have limitations on number of days. There are certain HOAs that just say absolutely not at all. And then there's, of course, different neighborhoods that will perform better than others. So when you look at those neighborhoods that are going to perform, if you don't have a realtor that understands what goes into that perfect short term rental listing, you could actually get yourself into hot water purchasing something that either can't rent or won't rent well. So the first thing that I tell anybody that I talk to is make sure that your realtor understands that short term uh, rental market because it's definitely a niche market. The second thing that I talk to them about is location, 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 right? So <laughs> people come here when they, they look at vacations, they're coming for Disney, right? They're coming for the parks, they're coming for Universal. So if you have a property that's an hour away and, and it's easy to do in central florida because it's so large it won't rent well so we want something that has a good proximity to the parks but more important than that we want a property that's that's in a neighborhood that's a resort style community that is really tailored to short-term renters right so that's that's the first piece that we look at when you're looking at the real estate aspect on what to purchase well so it kind of speaks to that a little bit more because um you know a lot of times people will think you know, I can get away with it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna beg forgiveness. I know that, um, you know, Orlando, people have been really clamping down on that because it, it does have an impact on the neighborhood. So a lot of HOAs have really stipulated uh, certain things about who can rent, but then on the flip side of that, there are communities that are specifically geared towards short-term rental and they even have rules about that. So how does that kind of play out? If I'm gonna go, Maybe I want to come and stay in my short-term rental. Maybe I want to live there. Is that allowed? Can they do that? Depends on the community, right? So it really depends on what specifically the buyer is looking for. And that's where you have an agent that needs to come in and understand those bylaws. Because if you have certain communities um, that are zoned for short-term rentals, they'll even limit how often a homeowner can stay in their particular property. So it is so nuanced that Again, circling back around, the first thing you need to do is based on your specific needs, share that with a realtor who understands the market to find the best property for you. Absolutely. And so when we're talking about a resort style community, mm -hmm. you know, there are lots of places and one of the markets that I tend to do really well is kind of um, focus on the, the Davenport um, casino area for a couple of reasons, mm -hmm. right? It's legal and they have this resort style mentality. 
what does a resort style um, community look like? You know, do they just have a pool with a cabana or what, what are some of the things that folks should look for when they're trying to do that? So a lot of the, the resort style planned communities have amenities that people can use if they choose to not go to the parks, right? Okay. So a lot of people when they come on vacation, the parks are part of it, but it's exhausting to go to the park every single day. Yeah. <laughs> Right. So oh, yeah. the employees, number one, they're gated, which is nice because it, it makes people feel safe and it limits who can get in and out. Number two, uh, a lot of the clubhouses will have lazy rivers or water slides, you know, very large, it could be an infinity pool, a pool. Um, some of them have little water parks. Some of them have movie theaters. Some of them have game rooms. So there's a lot of things because when people come to Central Florida, they're coming with their families, which are, you know, kids, that yeah. they, they have activities for kids when they're staying at the houses, right, or apartments or condos that they can go do on the days off that they're not necessarily going to the parks. So that is a critical piece. When you look at resort style commu communities, the amenities will really set your short term rental apart from maybe more of a residential type house. When we start doing projections, you can take the same six bedroom single family home. It will perform much higher if the community has the amenities versus if it's more residential. So the location and the amenities are a huge driving force.